It's Tuesday morning. Time to splash the boat and move it to Shilshul Marina in Seattle. My girlfriend, Harriet, and I were up late last night doing some last minute boat projects. I have the best girlfriend ever, by the way. I replaced the light bulb in the masthead light, so I hope that's all it needs for it to work, but I couldn't test it because the wires weren't connected. The gasket around the lens was shit, so I just tried putting caulk around the edge. We did a third coat of bottom paint near the waterline, and then we slept on the boat for the first time since I bought it. I'm so happy I can sit up in the V-berth and that there's a clear hatch that I can look up at the stars through. Bright and early, we got coffee, and the boatyard lowered the boat into the water. I helped them put on fenders, and then I ran up to help them move the mast. It was a real challenge to keep all the wires and halyards wrapped and on the correct side of the spreaders. Then the crane lowered the mast onto the boat. My friend Randy, who would come with me on the delivery, held the mast while I pinned the base to the boat. Then I ran around, putting the studs into the turnbuckles, twisting them tight. And then we were off. The boat sure was fast for a full keel. She was sailing on a run at six and a half knots for a few hours, using just the mainsail. We didn't even need to use the jib, which made me wonder if I should have been more patient with installing those grommets in the previous episode. I could have waited and done a better job. The wind decreased, and we sailed around Anderson Island and McNeil. It was about to get dark, and one of the nav lights was out. But luckily, the previous owner had left a spare bulb, so I just changed it. After dark, we sailed under the Tacoma Narrows Bridge, and we were soon going 10 knots because the current was in our favor. As we neared Point Defiance, we gave it a wide distance, and the wind slowed down, so we turned on the motor. At around 9 p.m., we entered Des Moines Marina, and since Randy had a boat there, he took the helm to dock since the winds and currents could be really rough, and he was familiar with them. We went through an ordeal trying to get into the slip, eventually just relying on boat hooks to push off the other boats, with quite a few locals helping to push us into the slip. Randy's wife picked him up. I cleaned up the boat and ate a can of smoked oysters with the Santa Potty as my table, giving new meaning to the phrase in the morning, Randy came back, and we motored all the way to Shilshul since the wind was very light. Everything went great until I overshot the slip while docking, still getting used to the time it takes to turn a full keel boat. I slammed it into reverse, and all of a sudden the rudder stopped turning and the gears on the transmission wouldn't shift. Luckily, an experienced dockmate threw us a 50-foot line, and he was like, don't you worry, guys, I know what to do. I'm going to throw you this line, and I'm going to bring you in. And that he did. When I inspected the transmission later, I found that it was just a nuts and bolts issue, that the previous owner hadn't tightened the set screw that held the shaft into the transmission, coupling, so it slid back. That better be all it was, because the transmission was new in 2018. That must be why he had put the zinc on the inside of the shaft a couple episodes ago. 
to keep it from sliding out. And also, an engine mount bolt had worked its way loose. This guy must have had an issue with tightening things, but both should be easy fixes. And I had already booked Meredith to make sure everything was done professionally. Here's the boat in her new home with her full winter cover on to protect that teak cap rail and all the teak slats in the cockpit. Thank you.